So you were able to link up with Jeezy through his engineer. You know, how do you build and sustain personal and business relationships? Um, I did a terrible job then. Okay. Because what I should have done is just gone straight to Atlanta and said, yeah, here I am. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I went to New York. And I met great people out in New York, but it, that was, in retrospect, that was real stupid of me. Um, I should have just gone down there and built relationships with those artists. Because um, it just, you know, Atlanta is where people are. Atlanta is like the creative center of, of the country right now in terms of music. Um, but as far as just building and maintaining relationships, it's easier to do now, I think, with social media because you're you're connected to a person so many different ways. Yeah. Um, but if you can get a direct contact on somebody, you know, stay in direct contact with them. Mm. You know, use it. Um, check in on people. Just kind of be human about it. Uh, that's what I try to do. Just, just maintain. If it's just a professional relationship, just maintain a professional relationship with constant contact and consistent collaboration. It's a lot of alliteration. Or if you know you have some kind of friendship with the person, then be your friend. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I had a producer. I'm uh, sorry, a DJ friend of mine recently. Um, who got to uh, a certain position and yeah and he was telling me all of a sudden you got people messaging him like oh hey how's it going oh can you get me there and everything and, and I looked at that like man I don't ever want to um, you know uh, just misuse a, a, a relationship and everything you know I want to be able to check up on people and um, and uh, and I genuinely care about their situations and whatnot and um, and yeah I and, and yeah, that that just felt sad to me, and I and I, I don't want that to happen. So yeah. you know, building um, business and personal is just very important to me. So I had to ask you that question. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful, man. Because I'm there are people that I've never really even associated with on a personal level who feel a way about me excluding them from what I'm doing. I just. It's just weird, just the psychology of. Mm -hmm. I, it's 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 weird. It's 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 odd, it, and it just adds to the kind of antisocial, isolationist habits that that we form mm -hmm. as producers. We just really kind of shut off mm -hmm. the, the rest of the world because we know what's out there, you know, and it's it's unfortunate. Yeah, you know, it's gotten to the point. I hate it, you know, because um, I really like interacting with people who would reach out, um, you know, st strangers, whatever, people on social media. Sorry if my phone is, is buzzing. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know if you can hear that. But I can't, I'm, 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 a, I'm really wary of interacting with people now because there's usually a string attached or several, mm -hmm. you know, I'll just get a message. Hey man, you know, I really appreciate what you're doing. This video really helped me out. Or I really, I'm, I like what you did here. This is really great. Um, you know, thank you to help the best way. I think, okay, that's great. I, that really helps, you know, because I'm just, I'm doing the vast majority of this work, hopefully for the good of the producer community. So then the second I reply, oh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Hey, by the way, here are five links. Listen to my stuff. Tell me what you think. <laughs> every time. Every time. So it just makes you paranoid. It makes you think everybody has ulterior motives. And I know that's not true. Um, but just, just social media allows for people to communicate terribly and not realize it. Because I don't think the majority of them are maliciously planning on sending these Trojan compliments, you know what I mean? But it happens a lot, and yeah. it's unfortunate. Are you mainly pissed off by producers um, sending you beads? I mean, the alternative motive, of course. But you're also pissed off like because you're thinking in your head, like, I'm the wrong person to be 
sending this to you like you really should be um trying to get this to engineers or artists well i mean if you really want me to give you a detailed review of a beat yeah i can do that just sure. you know just compensate me for my time that's all yeah. I, don't, I don't i'm not greedy i don't ask for much but you know i, I got other stuff to do so yeah. if you're taking away from my from the time i spent brand building or the time i spend working on the projects that are literally piled up to the ceiling, mm. then just be respectful of that. If, if my opinion matters to you, then you know prove that it matters, and I, I will really do my best to give you as much insight as I possibly can. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, uh, we'll wrap things up now um, with the uh, last question: uh, What are you working on right now? And what's uh, and and what's uh, in the works for I guess twenty seventeen? Oh man, I'm excited about twenty seventeen. Um, but the, the the big priority is uh, Ted Park's album. So okay. shout out Ted Park. Um, we have a lot of music on the way and in the works. And in addition to that. Um, I'm working on a solo project, probably a couple. I'll probably put out another, not probably, I definitely will put out um, another instrumental album this year, probably first quarter. Yeah. Um, probably another Painkillers mixtape first quarter. I'm working on a lot of albums. With people. Me and Soul are, are working on um, our third album but I'm, I'm not going to put a release date on that. Mm -hmm. Me and Cut Calhoun are working on a, a, a EP. I won't put a, a release date on that. Uh, I'm not going to put a release date on anything, <laughs> but that, that, those are just a few of the projects that I know are going to most likely come out in 2017. Sure, sure. And they'll all be on your website, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have link your website for us. Um, DJ Payne one info. There we go. But social media, you know, the, the YouTube stuff is, is way more uh, consistent now. And so subscribe to my YouTube. I, I just did a complete overhaul on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I had some, some consultations with actual YouTube staff about it. And I hope to be improving that and making it a little more user friendly and more organized for people looking for specific content. Mm. Uh, so, you know, if you follow me on any social media, you'll hear about it. Yeah. And I noticed those adjustments, um, because, uh, well, just the thumbnail adjustments, cause, um, your thumbnail, yeah. you know, improved on, uh, on all your YouTube clips. So yeah, that's good to see. Does it, does it look better? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. for sure. And, 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 you know, to actually see like a visual title as well, like, you know, we're, um, you know, visual society, I guess. So yeah, for me just personally, yeah, it's good to see. Yeah. But okay, I, cl good. I click yeah, your that's, that's what I'm going for. I click your videos regardless though. So yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you. you. You're, you're the person that I'm not targeting then with these new improvements, but <laughs> yeah, you know, just for the average, cause people, you know, I'm, I'm just learning about this stuff. It's a weird world. You know, you, you look at the engagement for how long people are actually watching the videos. Are they subscribing directly after? Are they uh, looking at your other videos? Yeah. Following and, analytics their, is their important. First of it. It's important. Yeah. Yeah. They are. And a lot of people don't use the analytics and they're everywhere and they're free. Yeah. You know, Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, Facebook. Uh, I don't know if Twitter has analytics. I, I don't know. But. Mm. Twitter is a little more straightforward than Facebook and, and YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, I appreciate you joining me here on Urban Knowledge. Thank you, DJ Fan One. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.